These are solar flares, massive electromagnetic explosions on the sun's surface. These storms forcefully eject radiation and magnetically charged plasma into our solar system. Events like these are the sun's weather, and they are awesome. But occasionally the sun aims those discharges right at us, and we feel its effects. Our sun has storms like these all the time, and much like the storms we have on Earth, the sun also has its seasons. Every 11 years or so, the sun reaches its solar maximum, a three to four year time span, when, like our tornado season here on Earth, the storms become more frequent, intense, and destructive. It's forecasted we'll reach solar maximum in 2013. There are two kinds of solar storms, solar flares and coronal mass ejections, or CMEs. Solar flares are intense releases of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum that explode across our solar system. Within minutes of leaving the sun, they can interfere with radio communications, damage satellite electronics, and even expand our atmosphere, causing satellites to fall from the sky. Coronal mass ejections, which reach the Earth in one to five days, are very different. They have a more powerful impact on Earth than solar flares. A CME is a massive expulsion of magnetically charged superheated plasma hurling from the sun. When a CME hits the Earth, the most well-known effect has been the beautiful aurora borealis. But there are destructive effects caused by the solar weather too. Metal structures like oil and gas pipelines and electrical wires collect the magnetic energy generated in the atmosphere during a CME-induced geomagnetic storm. These charge anything conductive connected to them. This can damage anything from sensitive electrical equipment and satellites, the electronics in your home, to permanently destroying parts of the power grid, like $10 million transformers and nuclear power plants that can take upwards of a year to replace. If severe enough, these storms can cause blackouts that span across counties and states to even the entire globe. There are many examples from our modern history. In 1989, one such storm seriously affected Quebec leaving some places without power for days during the winter. In New Jersey, one of these multi-million dollar transformers was destroyed, immobilizing the plant. The best known event may be from 1859, when a CME lit the sky all over the world, causing the northern lights to be visible even in the Caribbean. Telegraph systems, high-tech in those days, failed all over the planet, and the operators were electrically shocked by the power being pumped into them by the storm. In some places, the equipment caught fire while others were sending and receiving messages even after the batteries were removed. Renowned theoretical physicists Dr. Michio Kaku and NASA have said that one billion people could die in the very near term from infrastructure failure alone due to a major solar storm and that we may not be able to fully rebuild for upwards of 10 years. With something as complex and as mystifying as solar weather, the implications of the damage can seem overwhelming. How can we prepare, let alone defend ourselves, our family, and our possessions from these storms? Preparations can be as simple as unplugging electrical equipment and keeping emergency supplies on hand in case of a power outage. However, the key element you need to prepare is the knowledge of when these events are happening. Flareware is that key. When these events occur, you can receive a text message, phone call, or email warning you of actual solar storms or predictions so that you can be ready. The first 20,000 subscribers will receive alerts starting at just $1 a month. Remember, you've got to be aware to be prepared.